Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Sankey diagram. Now, the Sankey diagram is really a type of flow diagram that shows values being moved from one item to another. It typically accepts two main columns, which is your source and destination. And then a third column can be the measure that's uh, really measuring the size of the or the amount of values that have moved from one section to another. So think about it like this. This is actually the example we're going to be demoing here in a few moments. Say, for example, you're measuring the amount of people that have moved from one part of the country to another part of the country. You may have a start location where the folks uh, began and then an ending location where they actually moved to. And between those two different values, you have the amount of people that have moved. And as you can kind of see on the diagram that we have on the right hand side of the slide here, the size of the relationship or the size of the line that's drawn between the two elements is how many people actually move from one place to another. Now, the Sankey diagram is developed by Microsoft. And what we're going to go ahead and do is show you where you can go download the Sankey diagram and then how you can start to use it inside of the Power BI desktop. All right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and go to the Power BI Custom Visuals Gallery, which is what you're seeing on my screen here now. You can go there by going to visuals.powerbi.com and that'll redirect you to the appropriate site. Now, as you scroll down through the visuals, you can see there's a ton of them that we haven't quite gotten to yet. And you'll actually see there's multiple types of Sankey diagrams. The one that we're going to use in this case is the one developed by Microsoft that you'll see listed right here. And you're going to go ahead and select this version of the Sankey diagram and download the visual. You can, of course, also download some samples. If you want to see how it works in action and you don't necessarily have data that makes sense to use it, you can download the sample and you can see some examples of how it can be used. All right, so once you go ahead and download that, save that in a spot where you can find it easily for our next example. So for the next part is what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Power BI desktop, which you can see open up on my screen here. Let me make that a little larger and clearer there. And our first step is that we're going to go pull in some data. Now, if you remember from just a moment ago, I said we're going to be looking at data that shows where the amount of people that are moving from one part of the country to another part of the country. So to get that data in, this is all fake data, by the way, it's just made up because it'll show a great version of this uh, diagram. You're going to go up to the section of the Power BI desktop where it says get data, and you're going to select Excel. So I'm going to choose Excel here, and then for this example, you're going to use an Excel file that you should have available to you. If you, if you don't see it, it should be be below this video, a link where you can download it. But for me, I have it stored in this data section here in this one here called Moving Regions. I'm going to go ahead and select that Moving Regions Excel file and click Open. Now, when I open this up, you'll see it's a pretty small data set, but what it shows is the starting location where people lived and then where they ended up moving to, which region of the country they moved to, and then the amount of people that have moved, okay? So I've got this data. I'm going to go ahead and load it into my data model. So I'll hit load. By the way, if you're not really familiar with the whole concept of data model, I would recommend you checking out our paid Power BI course, which talks quite a bit about actually creating and manipulating data models. In this case, we made the example very simple just to be able to show off this visual. We have our data in here now. And now we're going to go ahead and bring in our custom visual. That would be the Sankey diagram. So I'm going to go over here to where you see the ellipses right underneath the visual section to import a file. We're going to import a custom visual and we're going to go ahead and select import here and then find the custom visual that we need for this example, which is going to be the Sankey diagram, which you'll find here, which is the one that we just downloaded a few moments ago. So I'll select the Sankey diagram, hit open, and that's going to import it now into my Power BI desktop. Now, before we go ahead and use this, what I would like to do is show you what this data looks like. And perhaps what we can do is actually bring in something like the location where people started at. So I'm going to go ahead and select start and that's going to bring it into a table here. Now, we could look at this as a table if we wanted to, or maybe perhaps we want to change it to something like a bar chart or a, a bar. Let's do bar chart here. That'll work. And what I'd like to do with this bar chart is I'd like to see the number of people that are moved and where they started from. Okay, so you can see here we have Midwest, Northeast, South, and West. And we can use this to be able to visualize the number of people where they started from. And then if we wanted to, we could add another element to this, to this even to be able to see where they moved to. Now that's really what the Sankey is good at. The Sankey is good at being able to visualize the flow of data from one place to another. And that's really the type of data that we're looking at here. So what I would want to do with this is I would select somewhere in the design surface in the blank area here and go ahead and select the Sankey. I'll make the Sankey a little larger here so we can view it much easier. And what we're going to do here is you'll notice in the field well, you have a source location for your data, a destination location for your data, and then the weight, that's the size of the line that goes between the two elements that you're comparing that uh, you would put in some kind of a metric. So for our source, we would bring in the starting location, okay? And for the destination, we would bring in the ending location. Now you'll notice before you even bring in a metric, you'll notice that it automatically fills out the diagram. And this is just showing a count of how many values move between each of the different locations. 
Really here, that what we'd, what we'd like to analyze based on the weight is the number of people. Okay, so you're going to notice when I add in the number of people here, the people moving, that it significantly changes our Sankey diagram. You're noticing that there's a lot of movement to and from the south. There's also quite a bit of movement from the northeast and some from the midwest and the west. Now, as you hover above and interact with this chart, you'll see that there's a nice little tooltip that shows you that you're looking at the source is the midwest and the destination is the south in this case. And our weight is showing 0.4 million people that have moved. You can, of course, move to any of the other items here. You can hover above the lines and you can see how many people moved from, in this case, the northeast to the south was 0.79 million values or million users here. So you can kind of play around with this. You can see, and there's even a very small line here with not even quite, not, not even a million user people that have uh, moved between the Northeast and the Midwest, a very small amount of people here. But it's really a nice diagram to, to be able to see the flow of data and how data is moving from one place to another. Now, there are some customizations that you can make here. Oh, and before I show you the customizations, we should uh, point out the fact that you can interact and do cross-filtering with the charts. So for example, we have this bar chart on the right-hand side. I can say, show me all of the people that started in the Midwest. And you can see the people that are in the Midwest on the left, that's where they started, and then where they moved. I had 0.4 million of them moved to the south, and then 0.14 million moved to the west. Same thing, we can select northeast. It shows you the northeast on the, on the left side, that's the source, and then the destination being those that appear on the right-hand side. So you can kind of see there is some nice cross-filtering that appears. And by the way, cross-filtering both, works both ways. If I select south here, you'll notice it also filters down my chart, my bar chart that we have on the right hand side. So it works both ways here, it interacts nicely with other visuals that you might have. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how you can customize the Sankey diagram. To customize the Sankey diagram, you're gonna go underneath the format section here and underneath the field well, just to the right of the field well, you can select format. From here, you can play around with things like data labels, links, and then some of the traditional items that you have in every one of the visuals, that would be like the title, the background, lock aspect, general, and border. Things like these uh, bottom five are ones that appear in every one of the custom visuals and regular visuals for that matter, where you can add things like a border around it, just a simple line around the visual. The general section has to do with the actual location where it's at on the design surface. Lock aspect has to do with whenever you resize it, how does it actually appear. Background, as you might, might sound, is just the background color behind the Sankey, so you can add some kind of background color to it and, and, and increase or decrease the transparency of that color. And the title, by the way, is one other one that's on here by default. The title, you can uh, center the title if you wanted to. You can see it up at the top here. You can increase the size of it if you'd like to. So you have some ability to play around with some of the, the, the standard visual options that appear in every one of the visuals. Now, for the Sankey diagram, you really have two features here that are specific to this diagram. That's the data label section and the links section. Let's first talk about the data label section. So if I go underneath the data label section here, you can see I can turn on or off the data labels. You can see what that's doing on the screen on the left-hand side. When I turn them off, you'll see there is no data labels, but you can still hover above it and see a tooltip. If I turn them back on, you can see them appear here again. You can increase the size of that label, okay, so it's a little easier to read. And you can also change the color of it if you prefer to have a different color for those. That's a really terrible choice, but you can uh, obviously here change the color to fit your needs. Probably a darker color makes sense in this case. I'll leave it as black. So that's the data label section. You can also go on underneath the link section here, and this is where you can choose what color do you have the links that go between each of the different data elements that you have. So for example, if I wanna change this one here that has the source being Midwest and the destination being West, then I would go look for Midwest to West here and change that color here, and you can notice that it actually changes the color between those two links, or the, the link between those two elements. And you can change any of these that you want. You can make any one of them to be a different color if you'd like. It's just a matter of coming through here and actually modifying them. Now, a question you might have is, can I make this data-driven? Is there any data-driven element to this? No, not at the moment with this di diagram. There is no data-driven element to the colors that you see on here. If you want to change them, you kind of have to manually go through here and change each one of them like I'm doing here now. Not terrible, but, you know, I only have a few different cross-sections here. If I had a lot more, then this could be something that would be a little aggravating to have to change every single one of them. Uh, in this case, I'm going to revert this back to the default. Just want to show you that, hey, you can change those values. If you want to change the link between those two to be a different color, you can certainly do that in here. That's really it for the Sankey diagram. It's a great diagram for being able to see the flow of values between one place to another. So it's very similar to, if you remember, we did a example of the chord diagram. It's kind of similar to the chord diagram in that it'll show relationships between items that have moved from one place to another. So it's good at that sort of thing. You can kind of think of those two in the same bucket of visuals, the chord diagram and the Sankey diagram for how they show a flow of data and movement from one place to another. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this custom visual. I look forward to showing you our next one in the very next module.